Hello and welcome to this Hints and Tips video. I'm Colin Evans, a Senior Applications Engineer with Solid Applications. Today we're going to look at deactivating and reactivating your SolidWorks license, enabling you to move SolidWorks from one computer to another. So what we're going to do here is deactivate the license from this laptop and activate it on another computer. So up on the help button, which is here in the top right hand corner, I'm going to select it, look down the list for licenses and choose to deactivate it. So this is the machine that the license is no longer needed on. So it brings up this dialog box, activate, deactivate your SOLIDWORKS product. I've only got the one product on this machine that I want to deactivate. If you had more products, you'd see it in this list and you can select which products you want to deactivate. We're going to deactivate this uh, over the internet, which is the recommended route. If not, you can do it via email, which takes a little bit longer, but does the same sort of thing. So once I've got it deactivated or selected to deactivate, I can select next. SOLIDWORKS then goes away and actually talks to the SOLIDWORKS server. Uh, and then the license will be switched off and hopefully SOLIDWORKS will be closed down because no license will be available for me. So deactivation was successful, so I can click on finish. Uh, I don't want to save changes to this, this part. And you can see my SOLIDWORKS is now shut down, ready to activate on the new machine. So I've now moved to the computer that I want to reactivate my software on my SOLIDWORKS. So starting SOLIDWORKS in the usual way, double clicking on the icon on your desktop or start looking for SOLIDWORKS. It knows that this, this product ain't activated at the moment. So it's given me the options. I want to activate my SOLIDWORKS product now. So I'm going to say yes to that. Next, select which products I want to activate again automatically over the internet and next so it goes away and activates my SOLIDWORKS license over the internet which should start SOLIDWORKS for me so activation succeeded I can click on finish and into SOLIDWORKS to carry on designing I hope you found this useful thank you for watching mm -hmm.